Welcome back to the Bethany Sports Beat. Winter season is upon us. Obviously, the snow outside would tell us that, so it's time to throw the ball up in the gym, and it's basketball season here at Bethany. And joining us for his second go-around is the head coach here at Bethany. While the women's team are practicing behind us, Greg Holtzie, who just got done with practice here today, getting set for his season opener on the Saturday with St. Olaf. Coach, how much smarter of a coach are you now uh, in the gym? You've got about, had these guys for about a month right now. Yep. Second year underway here. Uh, Can you sense a little bit of difference with uh, just your, your yeah, own style and your expectations? I think there's a, a added confidence level having a year under your belt. You just learn a lot throughout the course of that first year. So, yeah, it's been, it's been good to be in the gym again and, and uh, put that, that, uh, all those lessons that I learned into action. Uh, we still got a long way to go as a team, though, so you don't get overconfident or anything. You still know there's a lot to improve on as a coach and a lot to improve on as a team. All right, your team this year coming back, you've lost a lot of scoring from last year's team, yeah. roughly around 75% of that. You're coming back with a team, at least on the roster, that looks to be fairly young. You have three seniors on the team this year, Miles Kelson, Dalton Kleinsham, and Luke Roddy. How much are you going to have to rely on those guys for leadership, not just on the floor, but in practice and in the locker room as yeah, well? Yeah, that, that's huge. I mean, leadership is one thing that we've been preaching from day one, you know, in practice, especially when when uh, things are a little bit too quiet in the gym, you need guys to step up. And yeah, we'll be continually going to those three guys to, to ask them to raise the intensity level in practice, to communicate. Uh, a couple of them are pretty quiet guys, so we got to ask them to get outside their comfort zone a little bit, but they've been doing a great job so far. Yeah. With the loss of that much scoring, does your style change a little bit to accommodate for that based on the team? Are you still going forward with kind of the same setup you guys had last year, and now you just need some guys to step into those roles? Uh, we definitely made some tweaks to our offense. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be doing some different things this year that hopefully will will help use the, the talents that our player, your current players have a little bit more. Uh, so it'll be a different look, and, and we, we just got to have guys step up and either take on an additional role in scoring or to, to you know, start being more aggressive offensively. Right. We talked about some of your seniors, but I know that you have a pretty nice class of freshmen coming in here. Mm -hmm. Out of those, those freshmen and sophomores, who would you expect that are going to come in and you know, Bethany basketball fans are going to get to see these guys pretty quickly and be accustomed to, to some of those names, whether they're transfers, some of the newest players. Yeah, I, well, we got 13 new guys in the, on the team this year that weren't on it last year, so there'll be a lot of new faces for our, for our fans to see. Uh, we got a, three junior college transfers uh, who, who all have been contributing and practicing in our scrimmages. Uh, one in particular, Troy Spears, is a really, really good athlete, so he can play above the rim. It's kind of exciting to have him on the team. Anyway, our freshmen, a lot of local guys that people might uh, recognize their name, Brands, Zach Brands from St. James, the all-time scoring leader there, uh, Neil Eichen, all-time scoring leader at Wabasso. Those are two guys that we'll probably see out on the court this year. The Rose boys from the sewer are really solid, smart, intelligent players, and they chattered in a big boy inside uh, at 6'8". We're looking forward to having his size in, uh, in the lineup for the next four years. Preseason polls just came out not that long ago. You guys pretty much were right where you finished last year. In fact, last year, if Viking fans remember, you guys did everything you could to win in that last game of the year. Could have used a little more help than we got. So you came in fifth on the season a year ago, and that's where you're picked this year. You think that's a pretty fair assessment? Yeah, certainly. It's definitely fair. I mean, we, we didn't earn anything more than what we got last year. We were fifth in the league, and, um, and that's kind of what you kind of expect to start where you finished the previous year. Um, so fifth, fifth place in the preseason poll, you know, that, that's expected and it just gives our guys motivation. Our goal again is going to be to make the conference tournament uh, and, you know, it takes one spot better than what we were picked in the poll to get there. So uh, we got a lot, a lot of hard work ahead of us. We've got a good group of guys that's really focused on that goal and I think, I think if we come together as a group and, and uh, really buy in and work hard every day, uh, we should put ourselves in a good position. Yeah. You guys, uh, non-conference schedule-wise, I'll be quite honest with you, whoever picked, people are going to think the athletic director picked your non-conference schedule. Yeah. It was this guy right here. You will be ready for the UMAC by the time you get to that portion of the schedule. Yeah, yeah, we will. Uh, as, a, as, a, as a young program, uh, if we want to be uh, really good in NCAA Division Three, which is our goal as a coaching staff and as a program, we've got to be able to compete against those teams that we're playing in the non-conference. So, yeah, the 11 games we had, there's not, there's not, the, there's not an easy game on the schedule. Uh, yeah, and that was my doing, so you know, no blame to this guy That's over here. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's just going to prepare us, w whether it's for conference play, whether it's for the future, and kind of getting a, uh, a barometer of where we're at right now. 
uh, it's important to play the best competition if you want to be the best. All right. Well, we'll start things off here again this weekend with St. Olaf, and we invite you to keep coming back as the season progresses to check in on the progress of the Bethany men's basketball team. Again, Greg Holtzeder, head coach here at Bethany, and I'm Don Westfall. We thank you for watching things here on DLCVikings.com.